Phil is Gary with Wellness Rescue Solutions, and we just want to go over a brief uh, description of the bottles and the air systems for the TLC. Um, we're actually going to be using a, a Luxford 4500 PSI cylinder. We've also got a Scott SCBA valve. This will be typical on all of the systems. Um, like I said they'll all have ratings on them as far as, as, you know, as, far as warranties, things like that. Um, the basic system though, it's going to be sitting in our TLC system. This is basically how it's going to be configured inside the inside of our TLC. And uh, we're running two regulators. We have our primary and our secondary regulator. We're going to be running anywhere between 50 to 55 PSI into the head chamber. So, um, but like I said, everything on this, um, we're hoping to be 10 to 12 minutes of air. For sure, we're going to be supplying 10 minutes of air. Um, and then we're going to do, uh, like I said, we'll find out today after testing and we'll get back with you on the end of it. Well, everybody, so I'm going to give you an inside look at the TLC's uh, air systems housing section. So basically, we have a supported area where the bottle is going to rest. And here it has some rigidity just to chalk the bottle, essentially, if you will. The two straps will wrap around the bottle, securing it to the TLC, to the capsule. Um, also stitched on the sidewall and the headwall. And uh, basically, we have another strap here for the regulator system, um, just to kind of give it some structure. And then, essentially, our air chamber, which we'll show you in a bit, will sit in front of that on this Velcro. So what we're going to do when this is zipped up, and we'll show you, by magnets, we have an access to open the valve on the um, SCBA bottle, on the rescue bottle. And then that seals up so we don't get any limited amount of toxic air in there. It's going to be forced out positive pressure, remember. So. Once this is put together, though, you won't ever need to service this part of it. It's just going to be changing the bottles. Right. Stuck this down. Mm -hmm. We got one here on the rig, one here on the rig, sucking in the bottle. Nice. So it's chalked to secure. Yep. And you're you're really close to something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We've we've kind of told you initially about the the systems, the cylinder, and the head chamber is all put in here now. So we're going to do our first test on it as far as air, as far as timing. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Send it. Remember, that's a 4,500 PSI, 15 minute air cylinder from Luxor. By this time, you're prepping the victims, things like that, and just putting a minute to it about right now. Okay. 19 seconds right now. Right now, we've got plenty of structure here. The victim will already be in there. By this time we're zipping up and their head is in here now. Remember, their head is down here facing up. So the idea is right now we're already starting to feel this positive pressure airflow. So with the victim's head in here, they're gonna be having airflow. And they can basically get, it's hard, it's kind of a windy day, but there you go, you can see the airflow. So now, not to mention, their head is also gonna be protected here, you know? So, you know, uh, CDIs coming downstairs, things like that. The victim's not protected. So basically, we're changing the dimensions of the of the orientation of the breathing holes, and uh, this way we get some better airflow to the victim. This is air test number two. Um, so what we've done, you guys, if you've been following us along, this is the first time that we've actually gotten our legitimate head chamber in with our um, air cylinder, 4,500 psi Luxor bottle. Our first test over 15 minutes of clean, fresh air to our victim. Game changer. So, um, what we're doing, we're just doing another air test just to verify time and stuff, just so you can kind of see how this is gonna work. Once the system gets deployed, it's gonna be right here, boom, your knob's right there. Quick turn on. Air's flowing, okay? So, right now you're gonna be packaging, um, you're gonna be getting your person in here, your victim, you're gonna get them in there, set up in there, and then the head chamber is going to essentially conform to protect their, their head. It takes about 20 seconds to get this completely full and charged, but we can be putting them in there um, sooner than that. All right, so, so air's going. 